Welcome to the Turbo Ether News, where we're going to go right into it. And kicking off with the first news of the week is Mighty Number no. 9 is delayed for a third time. Now, oh wow, we did a Kickstarter episode for Crying Out Loud because of the revolution that was Mighty Number no. 9 really making in the money. It had its praise, and now I'm going to kind of take it back. Now, is this how we're supposed to feel, like a real investor? But I think real investors have a better shot than this. I did mean, you back <laughs> it? Huh? Did you back it? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, wait, you didn't back it? No, I didn't. That seems like something you would have backed. I know, right? That's what I said. And then for some reason, I just kept kind of putting it off, putting it off. And then I know a few people that did, and I feel bad for them. Which yeah. one did you back? Didn't you back one of them? Yes, Bloodstain or I, blood? I, I backed Bloodstain, which okay. actually he uh, they would provide monthly updates. Whereas for this, I have no idea when they do updates. <laughs> See, that's that's the difference between uh, like a Kickstarter and a real investor. Real investors demand answers and get them. <laughs> Your monthly update for this is it's been delayed again. <laughs> which, speaking of, it's, it is the third delay. And maybe there's a reason why he parted with Capcom after being there for so many years because... Who take? I mean, that, I guess this is what happens when you actually give him a, a budget, you know, <laughs> that it, or kind of an unlimited budget. I, obviously, he has a limit to it, but it's his own money. It's not like Capcom's money that he's dealing with now. Yeah. So, I mean, we've seen this with Kickstarter games before, and I'm surprised he, they didn't go down the road of like doing an early access thing to pay for like whatever they haven't done yet. But I could see that coming for sure. What could be holding this game up, though? I mean, it's not that complicated of a game. I mean, it's pretty much uh, a retread of Mega Man Side Scroll with a prettier finish. I mean, it's just him being a weird dude, being a perfectionist, and being like, it's not at his standards. Well, I can see maybe why Comcast was sick of dealing with him, but... Comcast? Comcast. Comcast. Well, <laughs> Capcom, they're both Which, devils. It's all the same. <laughs> Comcept, Capcom, uh, you know... But did you have you seen the early footage of the game? Like it had to have been like alpha footage or something that yeah, they released on their YouTube channel. Woo, it was rough. looking rough. Yeah, it was rough. So there was a lot of work that needed to be done. And like I said just earlier, I'm surprised that they're not going to cut the game into two pieces and do an, a Steam early access to like that's going to help pay for like whatever is left in the second part of the game, mm -hmm. like Double Fine did with Broken Age. And that's just what happens when you give somebody you know who isn't hasn't made a game before on their own you know a budget and unlimited time basically to make something yeah it is a rough business for them it only will bring doubt into the future of what they have to hold yeah. Because they had that other failed Kickstarter for that, like, Mega Man Legends uh, ah. tread that evidently the Kickstarter failed for it, but they still had backing from, like, some secret Chinese company that the game's going to get made anyway. And then they had stretch goals for, like, anime, like, an anime series. It's like, whoa, cool Wait. Jets, buddy. How about you actually release a game before, you know, <laughs> you're talking about anime series. Uh, yeah, and live action movies, I believe. Something ridiculous. along those lines. Maybe, but, maybe you Kickstarter know, isn't his, uh, his place to be. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of somebody that doesn't have a backer, Mortal Kombat X for the yes. PC. Warner so Brothers... Warner Brothers game has, or Warner Brothers games, I should say, it doesn't have the best track record for PC ports, mm -hmm. as was the case with their Arkham Knight release, or uh, what was it like mid last year? Yeah, it was which like was June. A, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, okay. So summer of last year, which was a broken mess Oof. for PC gamers. Lots of bugs, lots of glitches, cutscenes that wouldn't work properly, mm -hmm. and they eventually got so bad where they had to halt. Steam sales and issue refund refunds till they got the issue fixed. Well, supposedly they did release a patch for it, but they kind of addressed some of the problems. So that being said, Mortal Kombat X, which also had a PC release, is mm. now officially getting the axe from further updates, like a DLC bundle that they have planned for consoles and a balancing patch that they have in the works that just isn't going to be released for PC, which is surprising because reportedly they don't officially release numbers for this but according to like some websites it sold around 500,000 copies on Steam so huh. that's excluding a lot of players from pretty much important updates to the game yeah i mean what really gets me is how are they not able to get this on board but they were able to get don't they have other games too like uh, i believe shadow of mordor isn't that there yeah and that property? worked 
perfect. Yeah, I played that from beginning to finish on Steam, and it worked just fine. So maybe it was a different studio that they own or something. I don't know. You don't know what's going on internally with the company either. They could have downsized or eliminated whatever department that is to free up, you know, more profits. It's all about getting in the black. So <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Mm, right. I mean, that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fighting games in general have never been that popular on PC because usually you go over somebody's house, you want to play it on a big TV or you want to be next to them playing it. And that doesn't really work too well sitting next to somebody on your monitor trying to play it, yeah. trying to play a game. And usually the online isn't the best for fighting games because you need like, like precision timing and, you know, there's always lag and latency. But still, 500,000 copies is nothing to sneeze at for a game that you're just going to cut off all support for. So it's kind of disheartening, but then again, I mean, I guess that's just should bring be wary of buying Warner Brother games in the future. Yeah, it is a um, a sad, sad day for the community of the PC gamer master race. <laughs> so take that out of the out of the few games that they're missing out on. I guess that being one of them, they'll just have to eat it. Honestly, who who's playing who's playing uh, PC uh, fighting games anyway? Like, come <laughs> hey, Street Street Fighter Five. It's only coming out on PS4 and PC. That's Capcom right. might know something. Yeah, I was just I was just messing around. I don't want anybody to backlash at me. That's the last thing I need right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and for the last bit, we usually like to save a little bit of a interesting, quirky little topic. So we're gonna have Mike run with this, and apparently, come on, we already knew. But it's been officially confirmed that Michael Jackson wrote the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 music. Is Absolutely, this what? Really, the case? Yeah, one of our favorite internet uh, conspiracy theories finally confirmed. How often do we get a confirmation on a conspiracy theory? Uh, it's Michael Jackson. Everyone's thought about it. Everyone's called this one out. But how cool is that? That Michael not only did Michael Jackson make the soundtrack for mm -hmm. Sonic 3, but he didn't want credit for it. Like yeah. there was no like I like produced by Michael Jackson. It wasn't a big marketing thing. It was just like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll make your your game music. <laughs> but funny thing you said about that, he doesn't mind. But yet, you buy any recent copy on whatever like maybe digital download or yeah, iOS. mostly digital uh, download. Like the music has been changed slightly, and I've been able to notice that for sure because. Even through a recent playthrough, yes, I'm still playing Sonic the Hedgehog games. <laughs> like, uh, well, it, the music was twitched, and like, yeah, it's not really that big of a deal, but as a video game music enthusiast at heart, that really kind of irked me a little bit. Well, who's to know that he would have stayed uncredited had the whole, like, child scandal not have broken out? Because that's the reason why he had to get removed from the project to begin with. Yeah. Supposedly, but it's kind of obvious now that he had the whole trial going on so who's to say maybe that if that wouldn't have never happened you would have like seen his like name bright and center right there in the, in the on the title screen mm -hmm. yeah good point and who knows like i mean i'm sure the fact that now that he's dead and there's probably some sort of licensing problems is why right. they tweaked it now yeah there's somebody there's some jackson estate somewhere that might be you know wanting a kickback from this at some yeah. point so. Poor old Sega, it's like... <laughs> well, honestly, they won't even be able to get that kickback because they removed everything about him. So. Right, at this point. Plus, well, it's uncredited most of anyway. It, most of it, not all of it, but most... Well, all right, folks. Well, it looks like we're going to have to wrap it up this week. We'll go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe on the news topics that we laid down on this video. Also, check out twitch.tv slash turbo underscore ether good lord that was a mouthful check out what we have streaming on a regular basis <laughs> yes follow the twitter <laughs> follow the twitter for more info twitter.com slash the turbo ether and most importantly subscribe to this video yes and or subscribe to our channel not this video like the video subscribe <laughs> to our channel man what a bungle this is great <laughs> and then finally our ever growing facebook.com slash turbo ether believe it or not it's kind of moving and on that note folks may the triforce be with you that's a big thumb <laughs>